What's going on, my good people? Mike Hidalgo here. Thank you for joining us on another FCP Euro DIY. Today, we're gonna be working on a 2008 W211 E63 AMG. On the W211 behind me, we're gonna be covering how to service your differential. This vehicle is equipped with the LSD or option 471 from the factory. So we're gonna be using Mercedes-Benz OE fluid. The kit we offer on the website, fcpo.com, includes three half liters of the cash flow fluid, as well as the hex 14 tool needed for this job. Now this is optional. If you have a hex 14 at home, you can use that instead, but CTA does make it easy for us, makes one specifically for this job. This DIY is gonna be applicable to your vehicles equipped with the limited slip differential option 471. Some of those models, including but not limited to, are gonna be your AMG models, starting with your 2005 to 2011 SL65, your 2007 to 2013 E63, 2005 to 2010 SLK55, your 2008 to 2015 C63, your 2006 to 2006, one year only, CLS55 AMG, 2006 to 2008 SL55, 2009 to 2012 SL63, and last but not least, your 2007 to 2011 CLS 63. Now we know what hardware we're gonna be working with today. Let's talk a little bit about the intervals for this DIY. Typically, Mercedes recommends anywhere between 30 to 60,000 miles for the fluid to be changed on this. However, they call it a lifetime fluid. You and I know that's not the case. We recommend anywhere between the 50,000 miles range is gonna be good, especially depending on how you drive your vehicle is gonna affect that interval. The vehicle behind us has about 145,000 miles, so it is absolutely due for a fluid service. Now, before we get started on this DIY, let's take a look at some of the tools we're gonna need for this job. For this job, you're gonna need a couple basic tools, starting with the tool supplied in our kit. If you opt to use this, it is a 14 millimeter hex on a wrench. If not, you can use a standard 14 millimeter hex bit socket. A torque wrench is recommended and a fluid transfer pump, you can use a syringe style like the one we're using today. This is CTA 7075. However, a standard fluid transfer pump will work just fine. Not pictured here, but needed is gonna be a catch pan to catch the fluid. And we recommend before you get started on this job that you make sure you have the ability to keep the vehicle level, whether you're working on a lift or in the garage or in the driveway, that way you have the proper fluid level in your differential casing. Now we know what tools we're working with. Let's go ahead and get started on this DIY. All right, my good people, under the W211, we're at the diff. We have two plugs that we're gonna be working with. We have our fill plug, which is located on the driver's side, and we have our drain plug, which is located on the passenger side. Now, with any differential or transmission fluid service alike, you always wanna start by cracking the fill plug first. That way you know you'll be able to fill the system after you've drained it. You don't wanna drain it first and then realize you have a stuck fill plug. So, with that being said, let's grab our 14 millimeter hex tool and we'll start on breaking that fill plug free. I'm gonna be using my 14 millimeter hex bit on a breaker bar to break that free. Sometimes these are a little bit tight, especially if they haven't been serviced in a while or if they've been over torqued. All right, a little bit of drippage there, it's totally fine. Now let's head over to the passenger side and break free our drain plug. Same thing, 14 millimeter hex bit. Doesn't look too bad. We're gonna go ahead and give that a couple minutes to drain. If you're working at home on the garage or in the driveway, at this point, you are more than welcome to put the car in neutral and spin the wheels a little bit if you really wanna get the fluid out of the casing as best as possible, especially if it's your first time servicing it or your fluid is very filthy. This one's pretty clean. This car is regularly maintained by our very own uh, Kyle Bascom, so we're gonna be okay just doing a drain and fill, but we'll catch in a few minutes and then uh, we'll pick it right back up. Now that our differential has finished draining, we can go ahead and clean up our drain plug and reinstall it. This is a tapered fit, so there is no seal or crush washer to replace. Starting it by hand, I'm gonna grab my 14 millimeter hex bit socket on my torque wrench, and I'm gonna go ahead and torque it down to 50 Newton meters. 
There we go. Now let's head over to the driver's side and we'll do the exact same thing after we fill it. All right, now on the driver's side, we're gonna start filling our differential. And just like any other job for the most part, when you're doing something like this, you wanna fill it until it starts dribbling out of your fill hole. That's how you know it's full. So I'm gonna use my CTA syringe, prime it with some fluid, and then we'll just start filling it. And it'll take a little bit as the syringe doesn't hold too much. Like I mentioned, there's different tools out there that you can use. You can probably pour all three of those half liters in one container, but this will work for today. Let's go ahead and get started. And there it is, baby. We have almost all of the three containers in here. I would argue 1.4 liters is what it took. We're gonna go ahead and let that slow down to a small dribble. And then we'll reinstall our fill plug and torque it down to 50 Newton meters. Now that our fluid is down to a slow dribble, we're gonna go ahead and install our fill plug. Again, you want to install it by hand. I just have my socket on it to make it a little bit easier. We'll go ahead and torque this down to 50 Newton meters, and then we'll clean up our area. And there you have it, my good people. Another DIY in the books. Overall, a very straightforward job on the E63 today. Again, applicable to a lot of models with the 471 limited slip differential option. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments on what we did today, leave them in the comment box below. And if you like this DIY and you wanna see more like them, please consider subscribing. We make new ones all the time. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.